What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to add a scrolling header, which is like a sticky bar on your Unbounce page. I showed you how to create a sticky bar in one of my previous videos. However, if you prefer to just do everything all in one place on your landing page edit screen, this method will be easier for you. So it's going to look something as simple as this. As you can see, when I scroll, right, the header stays at the top. Uh, here's some cool angled bottoms we did in one of the other videos. But um, we can do that all within one page rather than having to actually create the sticky bar and then paste the code in here. Okay, so let's let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to use this website again, Disruptive Advertising. I'll put a link down below. But what we're going to do is just copy this code. Go to JavaScript, add new code, paste it there, and let's say scrolling header, and we'll click done. Okay, so what we have to do now is just add a box, right? A container box, as I showed you in one of my earlier videos. And we have to put everything we want to inside of that box. So let's suppose we want to make this scroll down, right? We're going to take a box, we're going to add it here, and we have to add everything inside of this box. So this one, for example, the logo has to come inside the box. So you do have to drag that box uh, or that logo inside the box. And then this phone number has to go inside the box as well. So you can do something like this. Now, the box that you add here, it will fit the entire width of the screen. So what you have to control is the size of it, okay? So you can make it super skinny like this, or you can make it bigger like that, okay? So let's suppose we're making it a bit smaller than the actual side here, just to show you as an example. And make our logo smaller just to fit in here, just showing you for illustration purposes. So once we have everything fit in here, let's just change the color a bit and remove the border just so we could see the distinction. Uh, oh, sorry, that's the border color. Um, here's the background color. So let's make it maybe pink just to show you, um, just so you guys see the difference. Now, like I said, you don't have to change the width. It will be the full width of the page, so it doesn't matter that it's not perfect here. But the only thing you do have to change is the height, okay? So let's suppose this is the height we want it to be. We do have to take the uh, ID of the box here, so I'm going to copy that, go to JavaScript, go to scrolling header, and we just have to change this ID right there. I'm gonna paste it here, go back, click Done click save and let's just see what that's going to look like. So in the other, while it's saving, in the other uh, video for sticky headers, remember we had to go into a separate window for that and separate editing screen. Here you do everything in one in one screen, right? So there you go. Um, just a super easy way to get that sticky, uh, sticky bar at the top. Uh, that is all. If you want to try Unbounce, I do have a 14-day free trial link below as well as a 20% off on your first three months after the trial if you use my link. If you enjoyed this video, you will probably like my Google Ads playlist where I teach you how to create campaigns from start to finish in Google and how to create Unbounce landing pages from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.